Wow. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Monday vlog. You guys seem to really be liking these, so I'm very excited. I just got a new laptop. As you guys can see, I finally upgraded, and I feel very cool and like a new person. So today is Monday. I originally was going to have a shoot all day today, but turns out it got pushed back, which is fine. I'm really excited to film the video still, but that is not today. So I'm just going to get a bunch of stuff on my to-do list and just other things that I need to do. Get them all done. I'm currently drinking some coffee. I honestly am just going to do a bunch of businessy stuff edit some videos and whatever. I'm gonna shoot later with a friend just some pictures of some outfits. Um, I applaud these tonight, surprise, surprise. But very exciting stuff. My merch, as of in real time, is available in four minutes, people. So I am very, very excited for this. If you guys don't know, I'll put it on the screen. Um, I came out with Merch for my podcast, um, which is just kind of overall like everything's the same for me But this is like just more geared to or towards my podcast um, If you guys don't listen to my podcast, you guys should I'll have it linked down below as always This is very exciting. I'm very pumped Yay! Some of you guys have actually already um, Bought some merch because I've actually already bought some merch because I gave out the link early on my secret Facebook group Which I probably will do this again. So if you guys want you guys should check it out, but I'm like seriously so pumped um, My friend days the K on Instagram did the designs. I mean, I like I'm very controlling like I told her exactly what I wanted I just can't use Photoshop, but she did the designs. Um, I honestly need to learn Photoshop I've never had a desire to until the other day. I was like I should probably do that in 2020 Three, I'm posting an Instagram story right now. Definitely spelled minutes wrong. Oh, just posted. Two minutes, not much of a countdown, people. Um, so I have a video that's gonna have to go public and I have an Instagram post and I'm gonna have to make some Instagram stories. So I'm just making that public. Um, I'm very excited for this. I have myself already, I'm not wearing it because I wore it all weekend, but it is so soft. I'm not just saying that because it's my merch, like it's actually really, really good. Um, I wouldn't release it if I didn't really like it. Um, when I first got the things back, like I literally, I told them, I'm like, if I don't like the quality, like we're dropping this and like, we're not dropping this essentially. So, I'm very excited. So, this vlog right here is where I unbox the merch and talk about it. So, I'm about to make this vlog live, which I'm super excited for. It's 8 a.m. I have my photo, my post already drafted. So, I'm gonna post it right now, which is so exciting. Okay, oh my gosh. Here we go. And then I need to post in the Facebook group, and it's really incredible. Yes, I have Christmas music playing. My Christmas tree is also up. We put that up over the weekend. Um, my video is now public of just like my Monday routine vlog. I've really been loving my Monday vlogs lately. Um, and this is where I like unbox all the merch and all that, which I'm so excited for. So guys, seriously, if you haven't already, please check it out. I really love merch because I feel like it, for some reason, makes you feel like more connected with your listeners and stuff when you have like some sort of tangible product. I just got out of the shower and my lips are like really dry so it's not good. But I'm very excited and I'm really pumped to see all of like the stories and stuff. Thank you so much in advance to anyone who has purchased anything. Like I really, really appreciate it and I just think it's like, I don't know, it's just so cool and like I love you guys. And I love that I get to do stuff like this, and it's just so fun. And there will be more stuff for the holidays. Not anything too super drastic and different, crazy, you know, but there will be new stuff. So, get excited for that, but oh my gosh. Also, who's excited for Vlogmas? I'm excited for Vlogmas, okay. All right, everyone, as always, for breakfast, everything with the bagel seasoning. Here we go. Okay, I have no idea why I'm working at my table when my office is right there. But for now, I'm editing a week in my life vlog. I'm not editing it on this because this MacBook, I had to get the, um, I don't even know, the memory card reader, which is supposed to arrive today. But I want to get this video like edited and done for Friday, so I'm currently editing on here. And then my little reader should come today, so I will link that down below and everything too. I'm watching YouTube videos. I can't really watch a video. Hi, Margo. Um, currently as I'm editing, so I just have some more Christmas music playing, guys. All right, it's now 10.43. I just finished editing this week in my life vlog. Honestly, I really want more coffee. I have some more like work to do, probably for the next hour, hour and a half. So I might make more breakfast and more coffee because I'm just so tired this morning. 
I don't know why I'm so exhausted, but I kind of want to make more coffee because I forgot to put in my collagen this morning anyways, so I'm like, why not, you know? I cannot wait to get my hair fixed when I go to Texas in November. Very, oh my gosh, three weeks from today, I'm going home for Thanksgiving and I'm so excited. Like, I have never wanted to go home more. Actually, this time I'm not true. I'm just so excited and like when this is coming home, it's gonna be like so much fun. It's gonna be the best week ever, so I'm very excited. I will be vlogging it, but yay. All right, guys, I just finally did my makeup. It's like almost one. I did my makeup, my hair. I got a lot of computer work and stuff done this morning, but I'm about to head out to just run a few errands. I need to get my car washed. I need to do a little bit of grocery shopping, and then I'm gonna come back here. My friend Jasmine's coming over. We're gonna take some pictures. I have some outfits. I need to take some photos for Revolve. And then I just have that outfit. I'm gonna like think of other things that I might wanna shoot just to have it ready. So anyways, I honestly wish that I could just throw on my jacket, my new merch jacket with this and wear like a white sports bra on underneath and just copy Danielle's outfit that she posted because it was really cute. But um, it's in the wash right now, so I can't do that. But anyways, um, I'm just wearing Outdoor Voices joggers, Aritzia crew neck. Like, I basically wear the same thing. I have like eight pieces. I basically wear something along these lines. I have all of this stuff in multiple colors, so it's like my Monday fit every single week. But, oh my gosh, literally had the best weekend ever. We didn't leave the house, and it was just so incredible with these Polaroids and like, literally just the best weekend of my whole life. Literally from like Thursday to Sunday morning, Thursday afternoon to Sunday morning, I only left my house for coffee in Trader Joe's. We cleaned the whole house, it just felt so good. We just had such a relaxing, chill weekend. We like cooked pretty much every meal, watched a bunch of movies, and like literally just was, the, I'm not even kidding, probably the best weekend of my life. But anyways, we're gonna head out, run some errands. I'm gonna read at the car wash and get going. Okay, so I am going to let both my laptops charge. One of them's uploading a video, one of them's just charging. Here's my coffee, it's from earlier. I think I'm just going to bring my To Hell With The Hustle book. I've been reading this. Honestly, I thought I was going to read it all in a day, but I just really don't want to do that. I'm more than halfway done. I also laid on the couch for like hours this weekend and read. Um, but I'm going to read the whole thing through and then go and take notes through it. And then just like, I'm sure I'll talk about it for like ever. Um, but if you guys are ever interested, I say this all the time in books that I like to read. It's on my Amazon shop page. I know I say it a lot, but I still get a lot of comments and questions about like, book recs and stuff, so I just thought I would say that again. It's just on my Amazon shop page. Pretty much all of my faves and my current reads and stuff are always on there, so if you guys are ever looking, just check it out. Also, just something I do in general when I'm looking for new books to read, I normally pretty much always have a book that I'm like, oh, I wanna read that, because a lot of my friends are into reading, I follow a lot of like Instagram people or whatever, but if you guys go on Amazon and then you go like, oh, people also bought, or like related search items and stuff, you will find a lot of really good books that way. So, life hack, that's what I did when I first started reading, like, kind of, like, this genre of book. And now I just have so many, and I have a lot of recs on my shop page, but if you guys don't like any of those, just type a book that you guys like in the Amazon thing, and then just go to Related. Just Amazon's really good at that, so they accidentally give you good book recommendations. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a Perfect Bar and just eat that, because I'm going to make lunch, but not for a few hours, and I have to go grocery shopping, and you can't go hungry, you know? That's, like, the worst thing ever. So, I'm getting my Perfect Bar and I'm gonna head out and read my book. I got my car washed and I went grocery shopping. I feel like a new woman. All right, I'm home now. I went to the grocery store. I am filming a what I spent in a week video as well. So this is $45, so you guys will see that in there. This, I do just buy a little bit more food because I'm constantly cooking for other people. Like, either Quentin's over, my friend Jaws is about to come over, and I'm making us lunch, so like I'm just always cooking for other people. But um, I got stuff to make lunch for the week so I don't have to eat out. Um, it's like a really easy meal prep that I constantly do. But I got a lot of broccoli, I eat a lot of broccoli. More soy chorizo, avocados, sweet potatoes, perfect bars. I just throw these in my bag for like breakfast or something. Salmon, I love salmon from Trader Joe's and it's super cheap. And then chicken, I think I already said that. But I am about to make some lunch, um, meal prep my lunch, and actually make lunch. Just made my favorite meal as of lately from the at Days with Kate Instagram. Jocelyn's over. Look, we're at Days with Kate now. So exciting. 
All right, guys, so today has taken a turn of events. It is a few hours later. Um, I ended up feeling like really sick. We ate lunch and I was kind of feeling like bad earlier. Like I feel like I look sick. Um, and then Jasmine and I just sat on the couch and talked for a few hours. I thought I was gonna shoot, but I just like, while well, we were talking and like, I just like don't feel good and it's so dark out cause it was just daylight savings time. So um, I think unfortunately I'm gonna have to cancel Pilates tonight cause I have it at 7 a.m. and I know like, Honestly, I don't know if I'm like super, super actually sick or if I really just need to sleep. So I think my plan tonight is to go to bed at like 7.30, drink some tea and whatever. Also guys, guess what I did? So um, I cooked food for me and Jasmine. My like go-to meals of lately, I can't eat that for like, a little bit of time because I've been eating it. Like, I'm not kidding. This weekend was like, guys, I'm not even kidding. The best weekend of my whole life. It was just like, I've never been so like, this was just literally the best this needs to be my life for like the rest of my life this is my life for like ever because it was just like really incredible i'm like maybe i do want to be a stay-at-home mom not actually but um okay i don't know why i thought this was gonna work okay so i started meal prepping my lunches as we made like food and i ended up closing the door to our kitchen because it was so hot and i totally forgot that i had sweet potatoes in there so i ended up just going to them honestly it had only been like probably an hour they really weren't that burnt. I threw them away immediately and they weren't even that burnt. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if they were even burnt. But anyways, I'm sick. I'm so out of it. So now I'm cooking more vegetables. So we're doing chicken and vegetables for lunch this week because I am out of sweet potatoes. But yeah, I just need to wash my face. I'm going to cancel my Pilates class, which is so annoying because it literally charges me $15. You guys don't need to tell me how annoying that is. I already know. Um, I mean, I get it, but whatever. I hate canceling because I love Pilates, as we all know, especially to start off my week. But I'm learning to listen to my body, everyone, because I am not someone who listens to my body. I just, like, push through everything, and I'm like, no, I can do it all. And then I end up, like, so sick and dead, and it's just, like, not good. And I've been having, like, migraines lately and just, like, I don't know. So I'm going to drink some tea do some skincare, wash my face, and kind of take it easy on this Monday. It's a little little bit different, which I think will be good. You know, it'll be good for me. Also, I love my new laptop. I feel so cool with my touch bar. I'm so behind, but I feel very cool. All right, guys, I just made some tea. I think I'm gonna head off to my room. All right, okay, I have so much stuff in my bathroom right now, but like, I really just feel worse by the second. It's only 5.45 p.m., but it's pitch black outside. So it feels like it's much worse. Um, I'm gonna be using the Clinique products that um, I showed you guys. I already showed you guys this new skincare routine. I have so much stuff. I already showed you guys this new skincare that I've been using, but. Oh my gosh, I did my makeup for no reason because we didn't shoot and I thought I was gonna shoot a bunch of photos. So that was a waste. Hi everyone. Welcome to my Monday night. I am sick chat. It is only 6 p.m. And I'm probably going to go to sleep. So um, I just kind of wanted to sit down and chat and document this because I feel like sometimes when I like just have these things in my mind and I share them, a lot of you guys like can either relate, well can relate and like make me feel like I'm not crazy or maybe it's like some sort of help to you guys. I don't know. But I feel like I blame everything in my life right now on the fact that it's my senior year of college, which really doesn't make sense because like I'm not gonna go through as drastic of a change in like a lot of the things as like majority of people who graduate like senior year or whatever I'm already in a different school like I'm not at a normal traditional university so like I already have like my house like I already, you know what I'm saying like I've already like been living on my own um and like I don't go to like university to like I don't go to like a normal university so like it's not you know what I'm saying and like I'm not gonna go on 9 to 5 is basically what I'm saying essentially long story short um but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this is still going to be like a shift and a change. And in my mind, like college is kind of like a safety net. Like it's like a safety blanket. And so like once I'm out, I'm like into the real world, if that makes sense. And like I'm actually afraid of that, which like I, it's a, stupid because like I'm already in it. Like I'm doing exactly what I'm going to be doing. There's no reason for that. But like I feel like when I was working from home and doing school from home before, I was so miserable because I like wasn't like playing in the community. And like now I have so much community. I already know it's not going to be the same, but I'm just like so fearful that it will be. But, you know, that's what I really want to talk about. But, like, you know, in life, I feel like sometimes certain aspects are really, really well and other aspects are just, like, kind of, like, ah, like, iffy, you know? And I feel like, relationally, like, my, really, like, my, my relationship is, like, really great. My 
relationship with my family is really great. Um, like, there's only, like, a few things that are off. Like, I feel like friendship-wise, I'm in, like, a really weird place. And, like, I don't know, like, it's not even that anything bad has happened at all. Like, literally in the sinus. And it's not that, like, I get a boyfriend and I, like, don't talk to my friends. Like, that's not it at all. Um, I still have literally all the same friends. Like, there's not been, like, any falling out, like, at all. Like, literally, it's, like, me and Dom always. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always with the same people and whatever. But I feel like just at certain points of your life, like, certain friendships look different in just different times of your life. And I feel like that's just, like, part of growing up. And I really don't like that because I've realized I really don't like change in regards to relationships. Like, I'm very loyal, like, to a fault to where I'm, like... I'll stay in something even if it's not like the best thing for me because I'm like wait what do you mean no like we are, we're in this you know and I feel like I just am like I don't know like not that I'm like I'm so grateful for the friends that I have and like the friends that I'm with all the time and I like love them but I feel like I just am like in a weird place friendship wise I don't know how to if that doesn't even make sense but like I feel like the beginning of this year literally I've never been happier than I was like this first half of the year where it was like so incredible and like nothing bad happened it's not even about it's not literally nothing bad happened it's just that like people change schedules change like whatever it's like literally nothing bad happens it's just like we're I'm not like in school every single day with the people that I was with before like they've all like graduated and they're like all doing their own things and like whatever and blah 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 and that's great and like I love them all but I think like people just like Things just change and it like kind of sucks. Like I feel like I've just lately been like, wow, I like really miss like six months ago or I really miss like whatever, which is not a time that I thought I would miss. I miss it enough. Like I'm like so happy in my relationship. I'm like so grateful for the friends that I have, whatever. But like, I don't know. Like I do like miss it in a, like I don't know how to describe it. Does this make any sense to you? Like when things just change with people and it like sucks and you like miss it when it wasn't, you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense, but just wanted to document this. I don't know. I think every time I like feel kind of like not alone, but I just feel kind of like weird relationally. Like something way better like comes in, and like I really am like just kind of betting on that. You know. Um, I don't know if any of this made sense. It was just kind of a ramble, but like it's just part of growing up, I think. And like just certain relationships take on certain things, and they look different in certain times. And I'm learning that, but it kind of sucks, and like I still am kind of sad about it. So I'll just be the drama queen for a little bit longer when literally no drama has happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't even know if that made any sense, but I'm just sick, guys. This is my other excuse. All right, guys, I took DayQuil, which doesn't really make sense. It's 7 20. I've just been laying on my laptop or laying in bed on my laptop, but that is gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys still enjoyed, even though. It was kind of like, I don't even really know what happened. I just like, I don't know. I feel like it's important also when I like post these like productive days and whatever to like know that not every single Monday like is like that or like I just kind of feel, I don't know, like I will feel really off or I'll feel like just whatever. I don't even know how to describe it. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta take a break and listen to your body and that is what I'm doing. So love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.